Greetings from Correct Connect Africa Foundation. Every year in February, we commemorate the life and works of Sheikh Antadia. We highlight his immense contribution to science and the African Renaissance. This year, we have chosen to focus our attention on his contribution to African and world historiography. This contribution in its original project, method and content is a demand for rupture. A rupture achieved through intellectual rigor and scientific honesty. A rupture that exposes the malevolence and false propaganda of colonial historiography and inaugurates its rejection. Now, together, let us go through the content of Diop's contribution in three main points. One, some aspects of Sheikh and Tariq's contribution. A, an exclusively sense to approach. According to Sheikh and Tariq, knowledge of one's true past constitutes the most important fact in every people's relationship to their history. This presupposes a research activity carried out entirely in the scientific field, free from any ideological interference. B. Knowledge of history, a vital necessity for any people. The role of history in the existence of a people is vital because history constitutes a major fact which ensures the cohesion of the different elements of a community. Without historical consciousness, Job asserts, People cannot be called to great destinies. C. Knowledge of history, an existential condition for any people. Knowledge of the past, according to Diop, the first condition for the realization of historical consciousness of a people, in that it introduces a feeling of continuity essential to its existence in time and space. Individual memory, like collective memory, needs a starting point to achieve its current condition. 2. A contribution that imposes itself in the form of rupture. An ideological rupture. It consists of carrying out an irreversible destruction of colonial historiography in the name of true science. To achieve this, you must necessarily arm yourself with solid scientific arguments. According to Diop, only by having solid arguments are we able to adopt an appropriate tone to discredit pseudoscience which often takes refuge behind conventions and sentiments because it has nothing true to offer. We must, in the name of true science, proceed with the irreversible destruction of these houses of cards. B. An epistemological rupture. It aims to restore African historical consciousness in the field of world historiography. This requires that we adorn ourselves with the mantle of science to enable the Negro question and refute the belief that he has never been responsible for anything of value in the history of humanity. Diop summarizes this rupture in two principles, historical continuity as a basic principle in reading the African past. This principle finds its basis in the field of research through the demonstration of the cultural kinship linking sub-Saharan Negro African civilizations to Egyptian and Ethiopian antiquities. For Africans, write Sheikh Anta Diop, the return to Egypt in all areas is the necessary condition to reconcile African civilization to history, to be able to build a body of modern human sciences, to renovate African culture. Egypt to play in the rethought and renovated African culture, the same role as Greco-Latin antiquities in Western culture. The principle of the cultural unity of Black Africa. This principle is not a negation of the obvious existence of a diversity of forms of cultural expression characteristic of the continent. It is a question of transcending this empirical diversity through an intellectual approach to reach the cultural substrates common to African peoples. Such a substrate is brought to light by scientific research, in particular by history and comparative linguistics. Three. The challenges of the Jokian contribution for world historiography. A. The redefinition of the epistemological basis of African historiography. The affirmation of the principle of historical continuity and that of the existence of African cultural unity now constitute the core of the new epistemology of African historiography. It implies a paradigm shift in the study of the African past. B. Egyptology and Africanness as the body of African sciences. From the ideological and epistemological break made by Jim, the idea is objectively deduced that Egyptology and Africology must merge into each other to constitute a new epistemological field 
which will henceforth be the framework par excellence of the new body of Negro African sciences. Through the restoration of the truth about the African past, Sheikh Anti Diop intends to contribute to the development of a planetary civilization without historical and scientific discrimination, in which men and women will live in peace, reconciled with nature and with themselves.